Good morning. The other day when I saw Coach Park and Miss Schuler on their trip to Jay Moore with those delicious strawberries, I said to myself, I need to make some strawberry jam. And as my assistant, I've got my granddaughter, Maggie, and we're gonna show you step by step how to make strawberry jam. The first thing you need to do is get all of your ingredients together. Make sure you've got sugar, make sure you've got your jars washed and warmed. Make sure you've got everything at your disposal because you can't stop the process once it starts. So come along with us and let us show you how to make strawberry jam. All right, the first step is to wash our strawberries. I fill my sink with cool water. I take an extra step by using some Thieves Fruit and Veggie Mix wash. And um, so we're gonna wash our strawberries. So we have washed and rinsed our four dry quarts or a gallon of strawberries. Now it's time to cut them. This is where we cut the strawberries. This is where you pull your friends in and you get extra help. Many hands make light work. Let's get busy girls. All right, so now we're starting to get ready to assemble our stuff. So I have both of these eyes on very, 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 very uh, simmer, just very low heat. And this is where I'm gonna put, Mama, Mama taught me this. I always put a little bit of water on here. This will keep it from, from hurting. And this is where we put our jars. So I'm gonna pick up the jars, and we're gonna keep those warm. Wonder why we would need to put, keep our jars warm. It's because we need, if we put, if we put uh, a very hot liquid into a very cold jar, it will bust. And so this is a trick that my mother taught me that's gonna show us how to keep our jars from popping. So we only, I, I should only need uh, eight, and uh, I'll put one extra, just in case the strawberries are a little bit juicy. Another thing that we have to do is we have to warm and sterilize our lids. So the next thing we do is put in our lids. I always put them into a boiling water, let them boil for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I pour them out over in the sink and let them uh, cool over there. 
That also helps make the seal for the jelly. All right? The next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we measure an exact amount of sugar. This is very important. When you are making um, jellies, the one thing you've got to make sure is that you always have an exact amount of sugar. So I'm gonna reach into my sugar bowl and I'm gonna measure out seven cups of sugar. This is just white granulated sugar. And we make sure that we top, top, the cup, top it off just like this and we make sure that it's exactly one cup. That's one. Maggie, keep it coat. Keep me counting over there. We got Another thing that I always use, because I, I was not raised by a, a mom and a grandma who made jellies and canned beans and did all those kinds of things. I learned this after I was older. And so a friend of mine, a cousin of mine actually, taught me how to make it with sure gel. So that's the one that I always use. So I always use my sure gel. The next thing we need is to make sure we have enough uh, of the fruit to go in the jelly. All right, we need five of these. Right? Mm -hmm. Can it help me? Yeah. Make sure it's right. One. And I like a metal spoon. If I can find one. Do my stirring. And you'll notice there's no water that we put in here. All the water, all of the jelly is going to come from, from the sugar and the, the strawberries. All right, we're gonna... I wish I could smell this. It smells delicious. We got a rolling boil. We're gonna put one minute on the timer and let it let it boil for one minute. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. The trick. We're done. Now, if you look at this, boys and girls, you can see. That there's a little bit of what they call scum on the top and if you will put that right there as it cools down just a little bit it melts and then it turns into jelly here we go she's gonna fill it up to about an eighth of an inch at the top so keep going a little bit more miss katie a little bit more right about there is perfect I'm going to push this over here. And then the important thing here is to wipe the jar, the lid, that makes the seal nice and strong. Put one of our warmed lids, and then 
just threw it out. Put it right back there. Wait, wait for it to seal. All right, let's get busy. It's a good thing we went ahead and prepared nine jars because this one did have, a, those little, were kind of juicy strawberries. So now, if you listen to, this one is very hot, very hot, but if you listen to the top, listen. When these start cooling, they will pop like that. And then we will know that they are sealed. That's the way you prepare jelly. You shouldn't touch them together because they'll, they will possibly pop. And there you go. And that, boys and girls, is how you make strawberry jam. All right, here's our final product. It looks pretty good. It's still very warm, very warm. As the uh, jelly seal, they suction down. You can hear this one has not sealed properly. Listen. Oh, it just sealed when it went down. And they will seal, and that means that they are ready to spend the winter and waiting on us to have some delicious fruit from our summer, even on into our winter. Now, if my mama was still alive, I would ask her to make me a pan of biscuits, and for supper tonight, we would have some biscuits and jelly. As you can see, I have a lot of work ahead of me because I have another batch of jelly that I need to make. So, um, I'm gonna be signing off. I enjoyed spending some time with you in the kitchen today. Um, I challenge each one of you to go out and learn something that you knew that you've never done before. Learn something that you have wondered about. Maybe you haven't wondered about how to make jelly, but maybe you've wondered about how to make something else. I challenge each of you to go out and find that. Now, I also wanted to pass along that one of my favorite ways to eat strawberry jam lately, it's a new thing with me, is I put it with my pimento cheese. So, if you have another uh, favorite way that you like to eat strawberry jam, send me an email, let me know. Until next time, Maggie and Miss McIntyre signing off in the kitchen. Bye.